Hey everybody, today I'm going to be answering this viewer's question. Would you recommend getting a master's in cybersecurity if you already have a bachelor's in IT? And I've talked about this quite a bit on my channel in the camp. I don't think you necessarily need one because I a lot of the sizzles I worked under, like none of them even had a, a master's degree that I know of. They had like a bachelor's in business and some like bachelor's in IT or something like this. But because the master's in cybersecurity at WGU, like the, the new revised one is, is so good, it might be worth getting, but not before other stuff. So I'm going to talk about um, what I think you should do and I'll show a flow chart that you can use to kind of help you decide whether or not it makes sense for you to get a master's degree. Before that, I'll talk a little bit about WGU cybersecurity master's degree because it, it improved a lot since I got it last. It's, it's quite good. But before all of that, definitely check out these free practice exams that me and my team made. We're making a whole bunch more in the future. Like right now we have A+, Network+, plus, Security+, plus. Siza Plus, um, we're creating Pentest Plus right now. We have CISSP and ITIL already. They're live. All you have to do is like click and you can start practicing them. There's even an offline version as well. Uh, so definitely check those out. But getting right into things um, specifically, like, you know, whether or not I think you should get a master's degree, it really depends on how much it costs and where it's coming from and like what's inside of it. I, would, I don't want to get too political or anything, but I think education should largely be subsidized, but it's not. So I think you should try to go for really affordable options. So WG, for instance, um, it's online self-paced and it's like a flat rate and you complete complete as many courses as you can in like a six month time period so technically you could do the whole master's degree in you know six months and pay forty five hundred dollars for it which is what i did that's how i got my master's degree and why i think the new wgu master's degree is so good is because they swapped it used to have um it used to require you require you to get ceh like certified ethical hacker and i think that certification is dumb um i'm not gonna like get too much into that but basically they swapped out ceh and added a bunch of other certifications not all of them are required some of them are but every single one of the certifications except for one the certified in cybersecurity from isc squared all of them are dod recognized or they're part of dod 8570 and 8140 which basically means um, it makes you eligible to work in defense, like for the federal government and work in defense contracts because certain jobs can require certain certifications. And they they added like CompTIA CISA Plus, which we have a deck for. They added CompTIA Pentest Plus, they added CASP, and then CISM is optional. CASP and CISM are both optional, um, but they will give you a voucher for it. So going through the um, cybersecurity master's program at WGU. Like you could end up with a resume that looks like this. I'll put a link to this in the, in the description. And I just think it's really good. It's better than when I went through it. And it's worth having if you watch the employability framework where I talk about the different things you need to worry about when you're trying to change jobs or break into cybersecurity or something. Like certification is part of that. And then degree is part of it too. And like the degree aside, like that's cool to have, but the certifications are, they're quite good, right? And if you have a, a degree already and you're considering getting a master's degree, considering the fact that it's only, you can get it for $4,500 and all of these certs, it just, it's just quite good to be honest. But of course, there's a lot of things you should do beforehand. So I just kind of wanted to jump into the flow chart. I kind of created this to help you decide whether or not you should um, get the master's degree and, and when you should get it. So basically, we're going to start here at the top and ask yourself these questions, and then we'll kind of follow the flow chart um, to resolution, I guess. So basically, you have to ask yourself, like, do you have the basics down? And if you're like, well, what are the basics, right? You can refer to the employability framework. Um, I'll throw a picture of it up on the screen. Basically, everything boils down to like getting an interview and passing an interview. And like, if you don't have the basics of cybersecurity, you don't have like a resume or portfolio or any of this like basic stuff, I recommend like watching the employability framework video and then kind of just making sure you're squared away on all of those things. Cause it, to me, it doesn't make that much sense to get a master's degree when you don't have like those foundational things that, you know, are less expensive or take less time to get. A master's degree for me, is kind of, it's a bit like icing on the cake, but in this case, it's so good, you might get it along the way, I don't know. But if you do have the basics down, you should ask yourself like, okay, do I have like any cybersecurity experience? And if you don't have any experience, you should build like a really fat portfolio. 
um, do some cybersecurity labs. I have this video that talks about um, five different cybersecurity projects you can do. I have my own personal course, which is really, really good. We deal with live attack traffic on the internet, practice incident response. We set up a SIM, like and a miniature sock and honey in the cloud. And we do a lot of, a lot of hands-on stuff. Um, you can attempt to emulate that on your own for free, or you can take the course and do these practice exam or do these uh, projects, put them on your portfolio. If you don't know how to make a portfolio, watch this video. I totally go through it in depth. So now that you have your portfolio done and ready and everything like this, um, I would ask myself, like, do I have CISSP? And if you don't have CISSP, to be honest, like this isn't obviously a hard requirement. I'm not saying like you have to get CISSP before a master's degree, but in my opinion, like CISSP will help you quite a bit more than a master's degree will. Um, it's just my opinion and through my experience because CSSP has the most job hits for like any sort of any cybersecurity certification and once I ended up getting CSSP I just I got like so many more recruiters reaching out to me and we also have like a, a practice deck um, with questions to, to help you practice for CSSP it's it's a pretty high quality one so I kind of recommend there are some like experience implications to getting CSSP like um, you need five years five years experience in I think like two or three of the domains. So you don't have to be working in cybersecurity for five years to get CSSP. You could be technically working help desk. And if you're doing some, if your job tasks fall in those domains, then you can get CSSP. And you can even take CSSP like dry, like straight up with no experience and get it. And you'll be, you'll still be awarded like associate of ISC squared, depending on how, how ethical you are. You can, you may put CISSP on your resume. You're technically not supposed to do that. But in my opinion, CISSP is, is like better than a master's degree when it comes to like recruiters and all that stuff. So I might recommend getting CISSP. Um, you know, go to joshmedicor.tech slash exams or joshmedicor.tech slash CISSP if you want to practice for it. If you have CSSP and you still want a master's degree, like absolutely, like I would, I would recommend getting WGU's master's in cybersecurity because it's just the certifications make it it's so good. And when I went through it, the actual curriculum of it was really in line with the job that I was doing at the time. I was like a cybersecurity program manager for vulnerability management, um, and it, it's just a really good program. I just, I just don't necessarily recommend it before doing this other stuff, if that makes sense. So. Um, yeah, I hope that was helpful. Um, flowchart, pretty good. I would recommend following it. I recommend anyone to get CISSP who's kind of serious about working like corporate or defense cybersecurity. It's just a really good certification. Definitely check out my course. I've had a lot of uh, success with it already, and we will see you in the next video.